Let's, uh, let's pray together. Father God, we are here tonight to celebrate uh, children, celebrate families, celebrate a transition in life. Lord, today we are also uh, here to uh, remember the reason we have the freedom to be here and to enjoy the life that we have. We thank you for those who have willingly put their life on the line and sacrificed for us. Lord, tonight I ask that you would allow a sense of your joy and uh, your happiness to be in this place. Help us to enjoy the, uh, the happiness of the children. We just thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Can I get all of my promises to come up on stage with me? You can come up, Lincoln. stuck in traffic and a couple of the uh, twins that aren't here. So um, this is our most of our group for this year, and they have been such a blessing and such a joy. Um, it's been a lot of fun and a lot of entertainment and a lot of chaos, but uh, it's been a great year. And we're going to start by our promises turning toward the flag, and we're going to salute the flag. So if you could stand up. Okay, guys, right hands over our hearts, and the flag's over here. We look over here. All right, nice and loud, guys. Ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America.
things that we like to do um, is to recognize our students for some of the things that they've done or something about their personality that just really stands out. Um, so we're going to start with Dylan Smith, and he gets the award for being a smart cookie. This kid was always giving the answers before I could even finish the questions. So Dylan, come here, bud. Come here. Dylan. You get to go sit down as soon as you come here. Come here. That means you got to stand up here longer. Give me your top That's yours. You got to come over. And then Jesse has something for you. Jesse has something for you. Go see Jesse. All right, this next person gets the award for being a hard worker. And this young lady is always, always doing her best job. And her coloring is always super unique and always different. So Dahlia Andres. sit down for a minute. All right, this next student, um, I have known since the day she was born. In fact, I was one of the first people that got to hold her, um, and she cried. <laughs> Change your messy diaper, and she cries for me. Mom has warned me all these years, though, about uh, what a challenge she's going to be and what an adventure. Well, today, Kennedy Rizzo is going to get the Dora the Explorer Award because she's always looking for things to get into. Kennedy. Jesse's got something. Although I have to say for us, she is golden. This next award goes to a young man who Honestly, I could not get to say more than maybe five words a day. Um, I know there's a lot going on in that little mind, but just wasn't ready to share it yet. So Kona Cumberland gets the award for being a man of few words. <laughs> This next award goes to a young lady who I'm kind of sad we didn't get much time to get to know. She joined us rather late in the year. Um, you were born to. She was born. Um, but the time that we did get to spend with her was really great. And I am hoping that she joins us again next year. So Blakely Prestavik gets the award for being a new friend. This next award goes to a young man that honestly should be a comedian of some sorts. Um, he doesn't just talk with his mouth, he talks with his eyebrows. He has more expressions in five minutes than most people have in a year. The award for being the most expressive goes to Ethan Dunn. This next award goes to a young man that um, every week when we, we send out homework on Tuesdays and they're given a memory verse, this young man would come in the door on Thursdays, Teacher Shelley, let me tell you my memory verse. I know my memory verse. Can I tell you my memory verse now? Always super excited about it. And according to Grandma, he can still recite every single one that we had this year. So the award for being Mr. Memory 
goes to Lane Gallagher. These two, I have to tell you, are quite the pair. <laughs> <sighs> they are going to be best friends for life, I'm sure. Um, this award goes to Mr. Cooper Green, who has his own way of doing things. And he gets the award for doing things in my own time. <laughs> This young lady is always in a hurry. Everything she does is hurry, 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 hurry. And it's constantly, Keely, take your time, slow down, it's not a race. But she was always one of the first ones done. And uh, as soon as she would get done, she would ask, what can I do now? What's next, what can I do now? And then I would always say, would you like to help someone or would you like to do something for me? Um, she was always very willing to help. So, Miss Keely Manley gets the award for being Teacher's Helper. Those are the ones that aren't here tonight. All right, so we have one more thing that we'd like to do before we end tonight. We would like to honor those that are going on to kindergarten. All right, first up is Mr. Lane Gallagher. Mr. Dylan Smith. Mr. Cooper Green.
amazing students that will be going to kindergarten next year, and we wish them the best of luck. concludes our performance ceremony for tonight. Thank you for coming and for celebrating these wonderful children. Have a good night. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Sing a na 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 Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me.